Hello everyone and welcome back to Alien Isolation. My name is Eric and I'm on my way to San Cristobal Medical Center for some reason. I don't remember what it was. Okay, find a short-range ambulance. That's interesting. I have to sneak through this entire thing now. Yay! Holy hell. At least I have discovered everything in this area. It's just that now we have a flavor of Xenomorph at the same time. This will be exciting! You always know a working Joe. No, you don't! Because they are assholes, and they try to kill you as soon as they find you. And I have my freaking flamethrower. Yeah, I see the hole. I'm not going for it. But now that I've perched the nest, there shouldn't be any more freaking eggs and facehuggers about. So I guess I'm back to the old routine of having an alien on my ass, constantly. Uh. I haven't heard anything go squirt yet, so I should be okay. I guess. Oh, look at that, look at that. That's something I should be able to open now because I have an awesome fucking blow torch. Yes, indeed. Go for it. Burn. Uh, yes. Down we go. And we're in. Oh, look at that scrap. I could pick up a little bit of scrap and some injector parts. And there's this is actually a place I haven't been to uh, before. I love it. I loves it. I'm just not going to deviate too much. Hello, Mr. Robot. I like you. You have been friendly and helpful so far. All flamethrower fuel. Yes, and bonding agents and everything. Now let's travel. Let's go by this lift. Primary care floor. Have I been there? I don't know. Whew. That was probably a place for me to actually catch my breath between the levels. I'm hoping that, at least. Oh yeah, everything is going to shit in here. Have I been here? Yes, I have. Right, this is where weights exploded me. And I have to go farthest away to get this shit done. I see a on my terminal. Marlo's already taken one of the shuttles. Marlo? How the fuck did Marlo go? Marlo was kidnapped by freaking um, um, zombie android thinking. Yes, he did. He sure did the number on this place. Wow, the sounds got really odd so all of a sudden. Very muted, very quiet. Very peaceful and tranquil. So, how many xenomorphs do we have around here? None? I like it. So I need to get to the save station, then I'll just continue. Because I'm, hell no, I'm not going to the power plant again, because there's like a million working Joes over there. As far as I remember, and I don't think I killed them, so I'm not in the mood for their shenanigans right now. I'm kind of surprised that the AI managed to. Yeah, right, I should probably return this thing. I'm surprised that the AI managed to survive the reactor purge because it was a serious, serious EMP flare going off there. But I guess they insulated the core. I suppose. I mean, that would kind of be a logical thing to do. 
What? There's a there's a Joe here? Oh, there's a Joe here. There's a fucking Joe here. Um but, uh, stun baton? Are you No oh, you're you're one of the insulated Joes. Fuck. Where did you come from? Really? Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Why are you the fuck are you here, Cotton Eye Joe? And there's a fucking Xeno! God damn it, I'm dead. Yeah, it kissed me. Love it. Mwah! Love you, Xenomorph. Love you, Xenomorph. They just had to be a fucking working Joe here. I hate my life. I see a ruins on my terminal. Miners already taken one of the shuttles. What do we have here? We have the flamethrower. Yes. Because we had one of the xenomorphs. Well, now I know basically where I'm supposed to be going, and that's why it went beepity beepity. It was because of working Joe, and then the xenomorph, because I had to run my ass off to get over here. So perhaps I could be cool and use the bolt gun. Maybe. Uh, load it. Oh, very silent reload. So perhaps I can do that. Reload, well, shoot it in the face, hide in the closet, and be on my merry way. I'm kind of hoping at least, but, but, but I'm not 100% sure because the closets are far away. Let's see now. Um, this is tricky. This will be a bit of a challenge, I would say. So what I have to do is probably lure him with me over here. Because the Xenomorph doesn't seem to care that much about the Working Joes. Come on, Working Joe, where are you? Yes, something's amiss. So I'm going to walk over here, where there was a free cabinet, I think. Yes, there was a cabinet here. So, Miss Joe, get over here. Come on. Joe, stop messing with me. You and the Xenomorph, I swear. I swear, you two. You're the bane of my existence, aren't you? Ah, there you are. Hey, hey, Mr. Joe, come and get me. No, well actually, if you run, is going to cause an accident. There we go. Damn, he has a long death rattle. Seriously. And no xenomorph? Ha! Well, aren't I the lucky one? I'm out of ammo for that thing, so now it's the flamethrower all the way, baby. Oh, you had a bolt gun ammo. I mean, so we're shooting like... Is this like a nail gun that I'm shooting? Yeah, now the electricity will fuck up. A little bit, like it did the first time. That's a fucking trap, I'm not falling for that one. I'm just going to go over here and save my game. Just to be on the safe side, because I really, really hate it, and I'm one of those people who prefer to save a little bit too much and too often than not at all. Okay. Thank you. So, there we go. And let's see now on the map, because I needed to go all the way up there. So I guess I'm going to do a little bit of a short cutting running around here. Xenomorph? Fuck it. Stop messing about. I'm being quiet here. You shouldn't be able to notice me. Shouldn't. The key word here is shouldn't. Noticing me? It does. All the time. 
But on the bright side, on the bright side of things, of this terrible, horrible situation I'm in, is at least that now I know that it didn't have a tracker off my ass. It didn't, really didn't. It just was, a, there were just a lot of aliens everywhere. That's why they found me all the time, no matter where I went. So that kind of makes sense now. To crisis stabilization unit. No, I don't need to go there. I need to be somewhere else. And if there's a xenomorph now, I'm going to blow his face off with fire. Because I... But because why? Because I hate it. I hate this xenomorph. Yeah, you go beep in the night. Is there another working Joe here? No? Yeah, because there is working Joes in there that weren't insulated. Wait, there's a beepity beepity, but it's over there. I don't care about that beep. Beep. Yes, because I tried to hide over here before, and I remember that the door was locked. Oh, cryo beds. Cool. I haven't really seen these before. Yeah, that's what I remember. Hello, everybody. Oh, don't tell me I need a code. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, I need to upgrade my freaking power tuner. Find a level 3 upgrade. Where is that? Oh, it's actually supposed to be around here at least, so that's good. That's cool. Normally it's like, it's uh, sorry, but you have to go back to the beginning of the level. Oh no. Hey, 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 hey. No, that's crap. What the fuck is that? Is my... How, how do I make a more powerful access to her? You know, it's supposed to be around here somewhere. So I'll just have to walk around and it should show up. Like, oh, flashback. I have a better flashback suddenly. Just thinking about it, whenever I get an upgrade schedule, does that mean that my inventory also becomes automatically upgraded? Just thinking about it. Not, not, not anything. Oh, an ID tag. Oh, come on. Where is it? Is it in an obvious place that I've missed now? Aha! There we go. Nice. You can just... <gasps> Where did you come from? Why are you here? No? Shoo! I have the fire. You see that? You see that? Fire bad. Yeah? No? Fire bad. Good boy. That's good. Stinking aliens. Freaking xenomorph. They just have to be there. Was that like a scheduled jump scare or something? Oh, don't come down now. Get down. Get down! The thing is that I can hear it and it's probably going to fuck with me now while I'm doing this. Come on, where's it? Where's it? Um, that thing. Reverse E. Guy. Guy. Weird thingamajigger. There. Done. Let's get inside. Fuck this shit. Where, where's the dash? Oh, there! <laughs> Just punched the dash. Which one? So, we're going to space! Cool! So, where are we off? Where are we off to? Where are we off to? Come on, tell me! So, we're going to the Annie's door, I guess. And I'm betting that it wasn't Marlow that went to the Annie's door. It was a freaking xenomorph. Or a working Joe, and it killed everything aboard. Just to fucking mess with me. Come on. It had to be a xenomorph. What else? I mean, 
That would make sense, because nothing can be easy in this game. It's just how it works. Oh my. What? No cutscene? Oh, I'm a little bit disappointed now. I was hoping for a cool cutscene of us traveling to the ship and stuff. Ricardo, can you hear me? Well, not very long, it appears. Yeah, there's Xenomorphs aboard this shit ship, too. Yeah. Explore the Anisadora. Oh yeah, we're going to explore it. We're going to explore it, alright. What does this say? Someone has brought the Anisadora into Sevastopol space. Find them. Well, I'm guessing it's going to be Marlowe, but because he's an asshole and he does things like this. I mean, doesn't this ring warning bells? Bringing the system back online and everything? You're coming on the ship, it's dead in space and everything. There was nothing here. Huh. Well, I have my flamethrower. And even so, then, it should be... There shouldn't be... If there are any androids, at least it shouldn't be any working Joes around here. At least. I'm sorry, it's going to be very, very dark around here. Put on a little bit of the light. We think we may have broken our losing streak. We've barely been scraping a living the past couple of years, and the Anisadora is starting to look like the wrecks we salvage. Can't say the crew's been faring any better. Then we found that flight recorder. It belongs to a ship, the Nostromo, Wayland Utani property. That means there'll be a reward. <laughs> but then Marlowe had an even better idea. Extrapolate the path of the flight recorder to try to find the wreck of the Nostromo. We got lucky, found a distress signal, and now we're following it. <sighs> this is it. I can feel it in my bones. He always said he'd do right by me. Well, I'm sorry to say that that went to hell in a handbasket really quickly. For you guys. Where am I going? Dark corridors and everything. Doing right by you, no. He really didn't. He kind of fucked you over. I'm sorry to say, but uh, his heart was in the right place. I have to give him that. At least, I mean, he did what he could with with the things that he had available to him. So, what do we have here? We have nothing because it doesn't allow me to find. Yeah, shotgun fuel. Nice. I'm going to reload some stuff now. Shotgun. There we go. Shotgun. Don't have to. Nice. Let's see now. What have they written on their computer? Signal detected. Marlowe. High says he's just picked up some kind of signal. I've got Lewis trying to decode it now. Could be the Nostromo. Want to come up and see for yourself? I need to do it like this. Technicians report. 10-24, 24th of October, 21-37. Marlowe, I just had to do some much-needed work on the sublight engines. The old girl was complaining so loudly, I'm surprised something didn't fall off during the last jump. Everything's holding together for now, but she'll need a full overhaul soon. And not just for the core systems. We keep pushing her like this, and we're gonna end up being the only salvage crew hitching, hiking through deep space. It's gonna be an expensive job, so let's hope you're right about the beacon. It could be our last chance for a decent paycheck. Anyway, I had to reset the door key code afterwards. The new one is 4510. Lewis. 4510. We're outside Sebastopol. Marlow and Foster woke up first. She looked terrible. Meeks and me are about to take a shuttle to the station. Oh well. This has got to break quarantine procedures, right? It's Marlowe's ship. She's Marlowe's wife. 
and things got heat, and Meek's got a bloody nose. So, I don't know. Maybe the doctors will give her the all clear and things can get to normal. But if they sniff it out when we get on board, I don't want any part of it. Marlow doesn't pay nearly enough for that kind of noise. <laughs> Boulder corrupted, so nothing else here. But at least I got the door door key code, so... What was it? 4501, uh, was it? Oh, I already forgotten about it. Ahem, <coughs> sorry. Uh, 451010. Oh, oh. Well, I had the right numbers, but in the wrong order. So, 4. Ah, goddammit. 4510. Oh. And yeah, I don't care if it seems to be safe here. I'm going to sneak about as much as possible. Because I feel unsafe. Come on. Eh. Eh. And uh, eh. That's one of them. Some weird generators here. Come on. There we go. And the one. Then we do it the second time. And the third. And we should have power back to the ship. Power to the people. I guess. Da -da 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 -da. So, um, that's good, right? And the lowering down everything. Ah, uh, there comes the panel that I need to use. Activate the ship. Come on. Oh, security access tuner. Of course, I need to hack it. Uh, e, e, and it is. Got it! There we go. Now we got power back to the people of this non-existing crew. So, that's the end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you liked what you saw, do leave a like and a comment. But for now, I'm going to sign off and I'll see you guys later.